and I'm gonna do a video talking about my past. I have my notes. I feel real pathetic doing this. There's a burning chair right beside me over here, and then there's a lot of little kids playing soccer right over here. Let's let's start from the beginning of the story. This is gonna be a quick video because I don't I don't feel like I need to get too in, far into it, but I really want to share this part of my life with you guys because a lot of you, well, not a lot of you, but some of you guys have insinuated that I come from money or I'm minted or my parents like give me money, blah, blah, blah. But that's not true. Everything that I have and that I've done, I've gotten to by myself. And that dog is adorable. I know, but look at it. Steffi's in the background, she's the director. <laughs> <laughs> my parents always um, were kind of into the dumpster diving life. Like I said, we grew up really poor, and it's not, it's, it was normal for us growing up, but it was a secret to anybody else, because our parents didn't want us telling that to people, because it was, maybe it's kind of weird. It was, we thought it was the worst secret in the world, but we had to hold that secret in, and we called it the D. It's a very different meaning now when I say the D, but the D then was the dumpster. And we never wanted anyone to find out our secret, otherwise we'd be traumatized. We really care what people thought. I have five other siblings, and there's just a lot of kids, and my dad worked one job at a factory, and my mom stayed at home. So, food-wise, um, there's a lot of kids to feed. So my parents would dumpster dive, and we would come along sometimes, but mainly we didn't want to be involved in that. But I'm just gonna share my experience growing up doing that and how we did it. Oh, the firefighters are coming to extinguish the flaming chair. <laughs> Get down. Get down. <laughs> this is a really serious fire right now. Or California fires are no joke, guys. Um, Steffi, can you refocus me? I unfocused it. Okay, thank you. Anyways, back to my story. The reason why we dumpster dived is because uh, yeah, we were poor, and so you can get a lot of good food that way. Facts. We did it our entire lives. Like, from as young as I can remember, till when I moved out. <clears throat> it made me feel very, uh, less than other people. We felt like that a lot growing up, because the way we grew up was a lot different than the way other people grew up. We, like, everything we did was just really weird. We never bought anything new. We thought Walmart was like, fanciest place in the world. We grew up very different, and we grew up on a farm, but I'm really grateful for it now because it, it built a lot of character and a lot of um, endurance in us as people. The way that we, the way that my parents would do it is they would go to a dumpster, and usually we lived in a small town in Pennsylvania, so the dumpster was probably gonna be, I don't know if you guys know what Aldi's is, it'd be an Aldi's dumpster or quality or, uh, big lots or just small stories like that. And I would not recommend doing this. Oh, I wanna put a disclaimer in here so YouTube doesn't like give me another strike. I'm not endorsing dumpster diving. I'm just talking about my experience with it. So like, not telling you to go out and dumpster dive, all right? I would not recommend doing it in Los Angeles. Los Angeles is disgusting, okay? In a small town, um, dumpsters that are unlocked, go for it, you know? My parents would also go to libraries that were having book sale. The, our library, when they had a book sale, and they'd throw away all the books that didn't get sold, and then they would go through all of them. And my mom sells online, so she would just sell the ones. I don't. My mom's probably not gonna be happy that I'm like <laughs> that I'm like saying all this. So no one tell my mom, okay? Mom, don't watch this. She would sell the old books and stuff that are worth money. We'd also go to thrift stores too, when they they dump a lot of stuff out, and they'd find things that are like valuable, like antiques and and things that are like, I don't, I don't even know, I don't even remember what they found, but like lots of things. But mostly we'd get food that was maybe the day of expiring, and it was still good to eat, it's just they had to throw it out because of the date on it. But it was all packaged, like we didn't eat things that were open, and they'd always bring their hauls home, wash it up, and we'd, ha we'd be so excited when we got like a good haul. Like this one time I remember, we got like a half a year or more's worth of sun chips, like perfectly good sun chips. I, I got sick of sun chips, but we had a lot of sun chips or we'd get like lots of cheesecake and uh, breads and lots of fruits and vegetables that way. They throw out things that um, are prone to like expiring. 
we none of us ever got sick off dumpster food. We would if people came over and like we'd give them food and stuff, it would be from the dumpster. But my mom would be like, "Don't tell them where they came from." <laughs> and we'd be like, other than eating from the dumpster, we'd also go to these. There's a lot of Amish around where we live, so we go to these dented can stores where the food was maybe past expiration or just like dented and damaged, and we get like really cheap food there too. So. There's just some ideas if you guys really want to save money and you live in like a maybe a smaller town. Dumpster diving is really good if you're going to places that don't just have food but have like makeup and electronics and stuff like that. Like you can find some cool stuff there. We found a lot of cool things. My dad used to be a garbage man and he has so much stuff that he found like in, on his routes and stuff like that. I think that's about all I have to say about it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Maybe some of you relate. I don't know if that's very relatable. So if you, can you think of any other questions that people might have or want to know? Yeah, I made a disclaimer. Make sure that everything is like packaged, that you wash it up first, and that you're going to dumpsters that don't have like a bunch of other type of trash in it. The dumpsters we go to, they only throw out the food. It wouldn't be like other people's trash, because that's gross. And I'm not ashamed about it anymore like I used to be. I'm not ashamed about anything. Let me know in the comments below if any of you guys have ever gotten anything out of the dumpster. Let's have a discussion. Yeah, I love you guys very, very much. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye! Oh, that was a ramble.